Hi, I'm Maisie and this is CCN's Weekly News 5 at 5, August 20. As numbers continue to rise in Sydney, this week we focus on the local lockdown antics. Today's major announcement is mask up. As of Friday, the number of COVID-19 cases on the Central Coast has risen to 39 since the current lockdown began on June 26. As Labor MPs called for the extension of the $320 test and isolate support payment to the region. For the first time this week, CCN managed to get clearance to attend the Premier's daily press conferences and our, our reporters Sky Hull and videographer Alex Herget travelled to the specially COVID-prepared Sydney presser. And yes, the pair needed to go through a series of tests, checks and screenings to get that access. CCN managed to get in a question relating to schools reopening. But in relation to schools in the rural and regional communities, as the Deputy Premier said and as the health uh, experts Dr Chand and, and other health experts have said, uh, it really depends on uh, what the case numbers are doing in regional and rural communities uh, when we're moving forward. We have used a model in the past where there's been a separation between Greater Sydney and the regions and if that is safe from a health perspective we'll continue to do that but it really depends on the health advice. So all I want to say to our rural and regional communities, especially in relation to, to schools, is keep working hard, keep coming forward and getting tested, keep getting vaccinated. The, the lower the incidence of disease in the regions means there are greater opportunities. But again, uh, that's advice we'll take from the experts. CCN also interviewed Deputy Premier John Barillaro, who announced the Central Coast will be now classed as a region and therefore will be taken out of the Greater Sydney area for the purposes of lockdown restrictions. We made the decision to include Central Coast and, and Shell Harbour as part of regional uh, so that we could actually simplify the permit system now that it only applies for people that live in either the Blue Mountains, Wollongong or the Illawarra and uh, Sydney. Uh, that means we can minimise that movement. We understand that the period of connectivity is important and protecting even the Central Coast from Sydney is important uh, because the Central Coast also has connections to Newcastle. This will mean in the future if we lift restrictions in regional rural New South Wales that would apply to the Central Coast and Shell Harbour excepting that if there are no cases on, on a local government level. Permits will come into effect at midnight tonight for Sydney siders wishing to visit the Central Coast Though will Central Coast residents need a permit to travel to Sydney? We asked Adam Crouch about this today and other related issues. If you live on the Central Coast, you do not need a permit to travel to Sydney or other regions. But what I would say is you really shouldn't be travelling to Sydney uh, if you can avoid it unless it's essential. Because, of course, as the health um, experts have been saying, as has Kerry Chant and the Premier, that every time you step out the door, you are potentially exposing yourself to COVID. To get as many coasties vaccinated as possible, Central Coast local health districts will hold rapid AstraZeneca vaccination clinics at Gosford and Wyong hospitals this Sunday from 7am to 3.30pm. Hi, well, masks indeed, but uh, not for presenting. Smaller micro business owners are buckling under lockdown as it drags on, but the crisis payments promised by the government to fill the gap are either unattainable or not getting through. Financial support has been offered by the New South Wales government, but there have been widespread reports that the money hasn't found its way into accounts. The Italian sandwich company at Yamina Beach is one business struggling with the impact of the lockdown and see that report on our website. And the Gosford Erina Business Chamber is agitating for speedier payments. Chamber President Rod Deva said he had been spoken at, le spoken at length with the Parliamentary Secretary for the Central Coast, Adam Crouch, and they'd agreed on a plan to put in place to help the businesses while they're waiting payments. So we decided we'd ask the Parliamentary Secretary directly ourselves about this worrying trend. Uh, you know, the Minister has apologised for the delays in this. Um, we're getting feedback now from businesses now that, that money is flowing through. But look, if anybody is still worried or concerned about it, can they please contact me? Uh, and we'll be happy to take that up with Service New South Wales on their behalf as well. Uh, the team at Service New South Wales, again, do a phenomenal job. I uh, said so they've employed additional staff to help uh, process these applications. Uh, but again, we're there to help as well if, if anyone needs it. And now for sport. A quick update from the Mariners camp. Midfielder Oliver Bazanic has been confirmed as captain once again for the upcoming A-League season, assuming it goes ahead. This Mariners veteran has had previous playing experience with his new gaffer in the yellow and blue. The two were part of the 2012-2013 A-League champion squad back when current soccerers coach Graham Arnold coached the Mariners. Here's what Bazanic had to say. 
Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, obviously, yeah, I played with him uh, back when uh, we, we won the championship as well. Uh, so he, you know, already has that uh, mentality and um, knows what it takes uh, in the A-League. Obviously, he's had a fantastic career overseas. Um, I'll, I'll try to uh, keep, uh, you know, keep going in the same, in the same way. Uh, it's, a, it's about the, you know, the, the players uh, sticking together, um, the leadership group. Um, showing, showing that they are uh, leaders and, and that's why they're in that position. What are you calling him? You calling him Nick or Monty or Gaffer? Or it's the Gaffer. The Gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. All of these stories and thousands more can be found on our website without a paywall or in this week's Coast Community News, Coast Community Chronicle and the Pelican Post. Remember to subscribe to all of our Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for updates throughout the week and keep an eye out for Sky Hall's video reports. We end this week with a taste from Bato Bay local filmmaker Richard Anker, who's created a little homage to our region whilst in lockdown. We hope you have a safe weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Industry Super Fund that backs all hardworking Aussies with support you can count on, low fees, and a history of strong returns. It all starts with spirit.